guys, it's Hannah here and today I wanted to do a bit of a different video because I thought that I could share with you my pet gems collection. Now no one's really requested this but I thought it would be fun because I and myself have enjoyed watching other people's pet gems collections in the past. A little disclaimer though, I'm not a pen gems nerd in the way that I know all of their names or when they were released and all that info, but I do love pen gems and I think the pens are so pretty and as you can see, I have accumulated quite a few over the years. Actually, I think it's been about two years since I bought my first pen gems. And yeah, it's, it's a lot, I guess, for two years. You can see I have divided them here kind of by hardware color. Here I have silver and blacks. Here's rose gold as well as gold. I usually have my rose gold ones with my gold ones. But as you can see, when I put... Because I had a lot of pen gems in different planners. When I put all of my gold ones into here, I couldn't really fit the rose gold ones. So I put them in their own. But yeah, I'm just gonna go through each one and try to tell you as much about them as I can remember. But I hope you enjoy this video and let's get started. So first up we have the silver and blacks. Maybe I should take the blacks first because there are not as many of them. So taking all of those out, putting the silver to the side. So all of them, actually this one is separate. This one here is called Black Magic. It's one of the more recent ones I got. It's very similar to Little Black Dress. The only thing, the only difference I think is that this one has like a metallic glittery barrel and Black Dress I think is just a, like a plain non-metallic barrel. Otherwise it has a solid black crystal, solid black crystals inside and everything is black about it. And it's a really cool pen, very unique. Then I also have this collection. This was the Pippin Loves Fiona collection which which was kind of a collab with Pen Gems and the 1407 planners. I don't know any of these ones' names, actually, except that this one might be named Tuxedo, which is very fitting since it's all, it's all black and white and has a black crystal. And yeah, it's this is actually one of my favorites because it's so plain, but I think it's really cool. Let's see, I'm gonna sort them a little. So we have another black and white one, but this one has also a mix of clear and pink crystals and it also has a pink crystal on top. So this is actually another one of my favorites from this collection. Then we have the black one which also has a black metallic barrel as you might be able to see and also has a mix of black, clear and pink crystals with a black crystal on top. Then we have two pinks and for some reason I love pink but for some reason these two aren't my favorites from this collection. I don't know, I think it's, maybe the pink is a little too dark for me, for my liking. But either way, this one is pretty much the same as this one except that it has pink barrel instead of white because they also have pink crystals on top as you can see. And last but not least we have this one which is very similar to Tuxedo, at least I think the white one is Tuxedo, except that this one has a pink barrel and this one is obviously white. Otherwise, it's pretty much all the same. So when you take the top, because you know, Pen Gems is the pen with the crystal on top, you can see that three of them are black and two are pink. And yeah, these are really cool. So those were all of my black metallic Pen Gems. Time for the silver. So I don't have that many of these two, as you can see. Silver is probably my least favorite metal color. Um, I don't hate silver, it's just I'm more drawn to warmer toned metals like gold and rose gold. And black also because it's such a neutral that you can use it together with any of the other three metals. But I do have some silver toned pens which I still love and think are really pretty, mostly because of the color combined with them. So I think my first actually here that I got that were silver because at first I only bought you know gold metal pens that was like I, I only looked at those I didn't even look at the others even though there's a lot of pretty pens that are not gold toned so yeah but that was the marble collection or the Dolce Vita collection it also came with a black and gold pen but that one I'll show with the gold ones of course so we have the gray marble here with a gray crystal on top and we also have the pink marble with a pink crystal on top. I do really like the unique design. I think they were also one of the first pen gems to have painted barrels which is pretty exciting so yeah these are gorgeous. Then I have 
this collection here, which is the airbrush collection. I did not get this collection when it first came out. I did regret it afterwards though and picked it up a couple of months later. So if these would have been gold, I would have bought them in a second, no doubt. But just because they were silver, I weren't like as, I guess, attracted to them. But they really are gorgeous and I think they're gonna look super pretty um, in certain setups and stuff like that or in certain planners. So first of all, I love the crystals, like they just look so colorful and pretty. Once again, I can't really remember the names. Um, I think they might have the same names as some of the like autograph pens, but they're like a, I guess, airbrush version. So what's really cool with the airbrush is that we have like the darkest color here and they kind of go and fade into white from the middle. I really like that effect. The first one is pink and it's that kind of dark pink. And I do love all the pens that have, you know, like an ombre going on with the crystals. I, think it, I just think it looks so cool. So this one is obviously my favorite out of the four because it's pink. We also have the purple one, obviously. It's that really dark, more like lavender shade of purple. I actually prefer more bluish purples than pinkish purple. So yeah, I think this shade is really pretty. And that's the crystal. And we have the green one. This is a very like bright green. And yeah, it's super pretty. I love the light green crystal on top too. And last but not least, we have the blue one, which is more of a kind of turquoise blue than a like bright blue, I would say. And I also love the bright blue crystals. So yeah, these colors are gorgeous. And I love the bright colored pens because I just love colors. So that's that. And the last pen that I have that is silver is this one. And this is the Simply Gilded second Simply Gilded pen. I don't know, I don't know if you would call it a second edition, but this one came with the September Simply Gilded Rockstars box and which is such a nice addition because pen gems are so popular and it would just, it was just such a nice surprise to receive that with the box as a subscriber. So this one is really, really pretty. It has this kind of light lavender barrel with mix of lavender, some pinkish and also clear and some iridescent crystals. It's absolutely gorgeous. And we have a big iridescent crystal on top. I love the iridescent ones. So yeah, that was everything. Those were all of my silver pens. It's not that many, but I do love every single one of them. Moving on from the blacks and silvers, we are getting into my rose gold ones, which are the least, as you can see, of what I have, but they are very pretty nonetheless. My first rose gold pen were actually this one, which is After Party, and it's just all rose gold, all shiny and rose gold in its rose gold glory, as I guess you could say. The crystals even imitate like the rose gold color, which is really nice. But I probably wouldn't have gotten this one if I knew that they were coming out with the Art Deco collection, which is an all rose gold metal collection. And this pen was included and it looks almost identical to After Party. The only difference is that After Party has slightly darker crystals, as you might be able to tell, but also the Art Deco one has an iridescent rose gold crystal on top, which I do kind of prefer. So I am most likely going to sell this one or trade it for something. I mean, for me, they're too similar for the need to own both, but I still have After Party, so I wanted to include it in this video anyway. And then we have these two, which are pretty cool because they also have painted barrels. And I believe all of them have that iridescent gold, I mean, rose gold crystal, which is really nice. Once again, I can't remember the names of each of these, except for these two, because these are rose gold versions of Aspen and Blackjack, which are also available in gold and maybe also silver. I can't remember. So yeah, you will see the exact same ones except with gold hardware. I own both in gold and they're so pretty. So yes, and last but not least with rose gold, <gasps> we have one of my unicorn pens. This was on my wish list for so long and it is the Papery Factory exclusive pen gems and it's gorgeous. So I love these colors so much. We have a very faint, very light pink barrel and of course it has the rose gold hardware with these gorgeous colors, kind of ombre effect in, with the crystals going from clear or kind of white to a more orange-ish 
color to a kind of peachy pink to pink and this crystal on top matches the pinks here so it kind of goes from the same color here and then changes to the pink it's such a gorgeous design and i love it so much I was very lucky that Paper Refactory re-released this one in a bundle, so I did not have to pay ridiculous BST prices for this pen, thankfully. So I'm very thankful for that. Sometimes waiting is worth it if someone re-releases a pen. So I'm so excited about this one, but it still feels very special. I almost treat it as if it were from the BST because it feels so exclusive somehow, but I love it so much. And yeah, that was my small collection of rose gold pens, and once again, I love them. And last, but certainly not least, and what will probably take up most of this video, is my gold pen collection. And this cup is kind of full. I do keep all my pen gems in these clear, very simple and actually pretty cheap cups that I got from a local um, bookstore. But this way, they are displayed the way that they deserve being, you know, in this clear pan cup so you can actually see them and I really like that. I know some people probably cringe for the fact that I store them in a cup and not in like a case because you know they all kind of you know I guess rub against each other but I am very careful with them and I usually don't carry around my pan cups you know they usually stand still on my desk so yeah. Either way I think I'm, gonna, I think I'm just gonna take out all of them and kind of figure out the collections and everything so let's do that. Oh boy, I have never done this. I have never put all of my pens like this. It's kind of crazy. I am first gonna try to find some sort of order with these. Okay, so I think I'm gonna take my first pen gems first. The first ones I ever got. Which I got very like plain ones as my first. I think it was an order of four, which were these. They have nothing to do with each other because they're not a collection. But my first pen gems and the one I wanted the absolute most was Ballerina. So here she is. This was my first pen gems. Well, I guess all of these four were my first, but this is kind of the first one I fell in love with and the reason I got them. So for me, this is my first and I used it a lot in the beginning. So yeah, she's just an old pink. If you love pen gems and if you love pinks, this is a staple, I feel like. For some reason, I don't know if it's me, uh, but this ring has gotten kind of black. Maybe it's because I used it a lot and color faded. It makes me a little sad, but it also shows that I have loved her a lot. So yes, I also picked up this all gold one because gold, you know, I was only into the golds when I first started buying pen gems. So this one is Standing Ovation from the Hollywood Boulevard collection. It's kind of a, I guess, sibling to After Party. These came in the same collection. There's also a silver version, um, which I think is called Paparazzi. I don't have that one, but yeah, so these do, I guess, kind of belong together. And I mean, it's all gold and it's really pretty. So this one I'm probably never getting rid of either. Then I have, like I said, with the rose gold ones, we have Aspen in gold as well as Blackjack in gold. And I'm actually real quick gonna compare them. Let's see, let's take the whites first. So these are exactly the same, except that one has rose gold hardware and the other has gold. They're equally pretty in my opinion. And the same goes for the blacks. So same but different super pretty so those were my four first this was like my first ever pen gems order then for my second pen gems order simply gilded had her first exclusive collection of pen gems and i of course had to get it because i love simply gilded and also the collection was gorgeous and now it's also i think one of the most sought after collections so that's kind of crazy but i did get it you know from the website for retail price i've had them for a long time so they're still some of my favorites though. And those include, let's see if I can find them all. It was a collection of three. These three right here. Oh, here they are in all their gloriousness. They are so pretty with gorgeous kind of rainbow ombre. So we have a white, a light pink and a blue metallic barrels with the rainbow crystals. I love them so much. 
And they do have different crystals on top. We have like the white, the pink and the blue and the crystals are different and iridescent as you can see. I love that so much. The pink is obviously my very favorite, but the other ones are very close as well. I just think they're gorgeous. Next might have been this one, which is another one of my very favorites out of all the ones I own. This is the Paper Princess 3, I believe. And I love this one. This was the first pan gems ever with the painted barrel. And I think it's gorgeous. For me, this was like everything I loved at the time and I still love it. And it was very, for me, kind of Kate Spade inspired with the polka dots and the pink and yeah. This one also has a bit of an iridescent crystal on top, which is gorgeous. I love this one so much still. I still think it holds a top three spot of all of my pan gems. And maybe I should even do a top three when I have gone through everything, we'll see. Actually, I do remember now, I think, maybe even with my Simply Gilded ones, I did get this one. And this one, I believe, is Macchiato. Uh, it was part of the coffee shop collection. The coffee shop collection in, in its entirety, I don't think was available at the time, but this one was available separately, so I got that. This one is really pretty. It's not really colors I go for though. I don't really go for browns and stuff, but this one is really, really pretty. Has a white metallic barrel fading from white to brown, like lighter to darker brown, and with a brown crystal on top. It also, it's also that effect that it's like white here and that fades from white and the crystal matches the last color here. I do love that effect so much. Then came the Dolce Vita collection. And I think this was back in, uh, eh, actually I can't really remember, but I feel like it was sometime in 2017, which of course also included these two pens. So this was the complete set and I got it as a set too. Um, but my favorite has to be this one. I mean, for me, the metal or the metal color does so much. I just love gold. I can't help myself. I just love gold and I always have. So everything gold is gonna be more desirable to me than any other metallics. So also with the black, I mean, black and gold and white, it's so classic. Then I think it was 2017 that they came with Designer December and I did buy two pens from there. Afterwards, I regret not buying all, I think it was four different designer, sorry, four different designer pens. Uh, they were all gold barrels, but I only got the colors I liked the most. But once again, I do kind of wish that I would have gotten all four because now they're super expensive and I do think the other two are really pretty too, so yeah. Either way, Designer December came and I got these two and these are really pretty. This one is probably my favorite because for some reason it's so chic. And this barrel color, this one is not metallic and for some reason I do prefer when the barrels are not metallic but are just like plain and glossy. I love that. This one reminds me of like a nude lipstick and makeup. For some reason, I think this color, I might actually have a lipstick in this color, maybe that's why. But it also has gorgeous crystals with like they're a mix of lavender and I think some nudish pinks and also iridescent ones. So pretty. And it has a iridescent white crystal on top. Beautiful. This one is the Villa Beautiful. I think it might be two because she had another one. It might even be three. I can't exactly remember, but it's gorgeous. Then we also have this one. This one I can't actually remember the designer of and I'm really sorry about that, but I really like this one and this one is very tropical to me. So it's like kind of a, I don't know, this color reminds me of like fake tan. <laughs> I know that sounds probably bad. And then this reminds me of like a tropical sunset, you know, with the orange to the, um, to the yellow, to the hot kind of pink, to lighter pink. I don't know, it's beautiful. And it has like a light orange crystal on top. Okay, so that was Designer December. Then I did not buy anything pen gems until I think it was June or July of 2018. It was about six months with no new pen gems. I have accumulated a lot in the past six months compared to these six months where I didn't get any. So it's a little bad maybe. I've been a bad girl buying a lot of pen gems recently, but I think in May came the Spring Filling Collection and I wanted it badly, but I was in a conference all day 
and I wasn't able, at release time, I wasn't able to get on. I wasn't able until, I wasn't able to check the website until I got back to the hotel. So when I got back to the hotel, it was sold out. I was devastated because for months I've been waiting for Pendulums to release something that I really wanted. And then this collection came and I loved every single pen. And then I couldn't get it and I was so sad. You know, that stuff happens. We can't always get what we want. But then, a couple months later, I checked the BST. I was afraid it was going to be crazy expensive, of course. But I found someone that did sell the collection for not super expensive. I think maybe it was, you know, a couple dollars more expensive than it would have been retail price. But it wasn't like twice the price, you know? So I bought it and I did get it. And now I do have the whole collection. So, I mean, I did also get the collection in the original box. I actually don't have the box here though, but this is it. The, the gorgeous spring fling collection. And these two that you see here, this pink one and this mint one, are two of my very favorites in my entire collection. So I'm so excited that I was finally able to get it. This was a limited edition pen. This one I think was called Spring Fling and it has the gorgeous mixed crystals of pink and mint inside with a clear crystal on top. White barrel with this gorgeous kind of floral design on it. Very, very pretty. These two have actually come back to the website. So I didn't really need to buy it from the BST, but I didn't know that. This one has not come back though. This was a limited edition. So, but this one is super cute. This one is called Baby Cakes, which is an adorable name. And it does look pretty similar to Ballerina. But you can see Ballerina is a bit darker. Also, Ballerina has a metallic, a glitter metallic um, barrel. And Baby Cakes doesn't. This is just like a plain glossy, which I, once again, I do prefer. I'm not really sure why, but I do prefer that. So, for pink pens, Baby Cakes have taken the crown. This is my favorite pink pen in my collection. I just love this one so much. And it's also very versatile since it's just one color. Then we have Pistachio. This one does have a glitter metallic barrel, but I do think it, pretty, it suits it pretty well. And the color is very unique. I don't think there's any other pen gems even similar to this color really. So I love it so much. This shade of kind of greenish uh, mint is gorgeous. I love it. So this is one of my favorites once again. So that was the Spring Fling collection. Then we have a couple more pens here. Let's see, what came after the Spring Fling? I do think after this collection, I started buying a lot more pen gems because I kind of realized how much I love them. Ooh, I'm missing a pen. I'm missing a pen. I knew I was missing a pen. And here I thought I checked all of my planners, but look, there's another one here. It's my Lemon Twist pen. And this one should be with the silver. So I'm sorry that I missed it, but good thing I remembered, huh? So I did place a separate purchase from the website. It actually wasn't during a new release, which usually I only buy during new releases. But I checked the website, they had some restocks that I really wanted, including this one. This one is Caribbean. And they also had this one called Havana Cabana. And I think these were all the ones I bought at this time. I do forget a little, but I'm gonna show you this one first. So. Yeah, this is Lemon Twist. It's a very bright yellow. I love it so much with silver. I do wish they had this one in gold too. I know some people don't really like yellow and gold, I think, but I think it's pretty and I would love to see this one in gold as well. But I do think the silver works pretty well too. But yeah, this one should be with my silver ones. Putting it there. This one definitely brings some sunshine to these more dark colors that I have. So yes, I did pick up these. These were not new, but they were restocks, like I said. Caribbean is a very pretty shade of like turquoise, summery blue, love it. And we also have Havana Cabana. Um, this one I wasn't aware about. And first I thought it was, I think in a lot of pictures, I've always assumed this one was Ballerina. They are quite similar. Havana Cabana is darker, more reddish toned. So the crystals on top are almost identical, I would say though, but yeah, I think they're both really pretty. I think I might have picked up another pen with this purchase, but I can't actually remember. Um, either way, I also see here that I haven't shown this one. This one I did get pretty early on. I just can't remember with, with which order. This was part of the Christmas lights collection, but I only got the green one because it was my favorite. Um, so yeah, this one is like a very metallic style. Not really glittery metallic though. It's more of a, 
I mean, it really looks like metal. It's a very cool barrel, actually. I mean, it's Christmas green and I just really wanted a Christmas themed pen. So I got this one. Now it's getting a little blurry. I can't exactly... Okay, I think the next collection is these. Oh, also, oh, I know, I know, I know. This was the, I think, fourth pen I picked up with Havana Cabana and Caribbean. So this one is Princess, I think. It's a gorgeous purple color. And I really, this is, for me, this is one of like the staples. I feel like this is one old pen gems that has been around for a long time. And so has Caribbean. So for me, I just felt like a, I don't know, I got some like nostalgia when I saw this one. Um, thinking about old planner hauls and planner setup videos with this pen and stuff. Not for me personally, but with other people. So I think the next collection I bought was the wine collection. And I also picked up this pen, I think, around the same time. Or with the same order, I mean. This one is Aloha. It's a gorgeous, kind of, I guess, strawberry red color. With this light kind of red color on top. This one is also available in silver, I know. But I only picked up the gold since it's my favorite. I also picked up the wine collection. This one actually sold separately, so you didn't get like a box or anything. And I don't remember the names except for my favorite, which is this one. But we have these two, this more uh, kind of reddish dark one with mixed, or maybe it is a mixed crystals. And there's also this more purple toned one with mixed crystals. And that's what they look like on top. Really pretty dark colors. I feel like these would be really nice for fall. And my favorite, and this, once again, I think might be one of my top three favorite pen gems ever. I love this one. This is Brie, or the full name is To Brie or Not To Brie. Not that I'm a cheese lover, but I just love this pen so much. It is a creamy white compared to, let's say, Aspen, which is a very crisp white. It's hard to tell on camera, but I hope you can see the difference. I prefer warmer toned colors in general, I guess including whites. So I love this one and I love its simplicity, but it has the very special effect with the iridescent crystals on the top here. The crystal on top is a little bit iridescent. It is kind of a, you know, a creamy color and we have the crystals inside. For, I was surprised how much I love this pen when I first got it because it would it's not something I would usually like love because it's almost too simple and it's just white but it's so versatile and I love the iridescent crystals like ah it's one of my favorites I love it so much Brie is awesome and now we are getting towards the end here my next order were these two these were two new releases actually this is chocolate and this one is a restock uh, that I've been wanting for a while it goes really well with my Macchiato, as you can see. I have to do a photo shoot with these. I feel like they're just perfect together. But yeah, chocolate is very pretty and I feel like it would be really nice in like a cozy fall or winter setup. So yes. Then I also got this. This was a new release and this was Uptown Girl, which is, I feel like a very unique color to pen gems. They haven't really done a lot of gray ones, I would say. Um, it's kind of, it's kind of like a brownish gray though, or a warm gray with a this gray metallic barrel as well as mixed crystals. Yeah, it's kind of like a brownish gray. It's gray, but it's brownish, if that makes any sense. And that's the crystal on top. And then we have my second to last one here. This is the standard essential, I guess, second edition pen. I don't know if you call it second edition because it looks different, a lot different from the first one, but it is kind of the same as her first one. The first one was all green. Um, the crystals I think were the same, except that this was like a spring green color, the barrel, and it was gorgeous. It's one of my unicorns. I would love to have that one, but now with the BST prices, it's not happening for me, I feel like. But I was able to snag this one. I did buy this one from a BST group, but I actually bought it from the UK Pen Gems BST group. And I love this. I don't have a Pen Gems. I don't have like a blue, I don't have a lot of blue or green ones. Um, and also with the white, I feel like this one is a lot more versatile being white instead of the green, even though the green is gorgeous. I still feel like this might be better because I might use this one more. And then last, it's not the, I didn't buy this one separately. I did buy this one with the article collection. This is Celebration and 
This one is so gorgeous. It's the first pan gems to have what they call petite crystals. You might be able to see that the crystals are smaller than what they usually are. I'll compare it to this one here. Hope you can see a difference. It also has a lot of iridescent crystals. Maybe they're even all iridescent. It's so pretty. I love these so much. Also, it's the first pan gems to have what they call a satin finish. And the funny thing is it looks matte, but it actually is glossy. I mean, you can see how the lights reflect even here. So it feels the same. I thought it was gonna feel matte, like it was gonna feel satin, but it feels the same as all other pan gems, just that it looks matte. So it's a pretty cool look. And this also has a nice iridescent crystal. So gorgeous. So yeah, guys, that was my whole pan gems collection. I feel like this was a long video. I'm just loving pan gems right now. I'm gonna try to get in all of my, the ones I have in here. I'm also gonna do my top three to see if I can figure out my top three. Oh, let's see. I think I have them all in frame now, yes. So this is my collection. I haven't actually counted them. Maybe I should do that too. Yeah, let's do that. So. Forty-eight pen gems is what I own. Woo, that's a lot. Either way, finding my favorite one. So Brie is definitely one of them. My pink Simply Gilded one is definitely another favorite. Ooh, and Paper Princess is super pretty too. And what else do I love? I mean, I love this one too. I mean, I love the Papery Factory. But is it a top 10 or top three, I mean? Hard decisions. I mean, I love Baby Cakes and Pistachio, but they're not gonna be top three. Top five, maybe. I think I might actually have my top three right here. So for third place, the Paper Princess 3, which is gorgeous. Oh, this is hard, but I think I might actually switch. And this is really weird for me because this pan has nothing pink to it, but I still love it so much. This is the Simply Gilded pink one. I have always loved this one. And number one spot goes to Brie, my very favorite Brie. She's so pretty. It's weird how much I love this one because she's so simple, but I just do, I can't help myself. So yeah, if I would have owned all my unicorns, I'm pretty sure that my um, collection or my favorites would look different. I actually do have my wish list written down uh, using also some old Simply Gilded um, pen gems stickers. My most favorite pen, that would be number one if I ever get my hands on it. It's super old, so I'm probably never gonna get my hands on it. But it is the Two Little Bees 3, the pink one with rainbow crystals and gold. The Pippery Factory was the first one I could check off, and this one was the second, which feels amazing being able to check off some of your wishlist pens, you know. But yeah, if I could ever get my hands on my true unicorn, that would be amazing. But I also know that I should be very thankful for what I have, and Thinking back, if I wouldn't have been able to get, let's say, these two exclusives, they would have definitely, they would definitely have been unicorns of mine too. So thinking that I do already own them makes me so happy. And also that I was able to get them for retail price, thinking how much the price increases, you know, for sought after pens and everything. So yeah. So yeah, guys, this was my Pendulums collection. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more collection videos from me of different stationeries or planner items, let me know and I can definitely make that happen. But with that said, I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.